Now the roads are slick as heavy rain pummels parts of central Florida. Here's a live look along I-95 in Volusia County. And as you can see, it is not the only area getting hit right now. Prepare for a stormy night ahead. Good afternoon. This is News 6 at 4 getting results. I'm Lisa Bell. I'm Julie Broughton. Thanks for being with us. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. From the roads to the hour by hour outlook, our accurate pinpoint forecast team has you covered. I'm keeping a close eye on the I-4 corridor and wet roads. Plus, meteorologist Candace Campos will join us live to pinpoint down to street level. But first, let's start with Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells pinpointing which areas are getting pummeled right now, Tom? Kaylee, so we're going to start out Marion County tonight. That's where our number one severe thunderstorm warning of the day has started. Take a look over my shoulder right now. Big rain echoes coming back from Marion County. Rough wind high wind and some lightning strikes too, just embedded all over I-75 in Reddick right now. This severe thunderstorm warning in the yellow box goes up to the north into Putnam County. It's going now until 430, so that's going to be about another 30 minutes from right now. Rainfall rates in there are pretty stiff. 1.44 one hundredths of an inch per hour north of Reddick, about three quarters of an inch just west of you, south of Williston, and over here to the north and the east of Ocala. It's raining at better than two and a half inches per hour. Leesburg is just getting walked on with some heavy rain right now. This particular cell has not gone severe, but it has spit out a couple of lightning strikes, one there and one there, and now a third south of Leesburg right now, over to the east from Daytona Beach to Port Orange. The areas that did not get the big rain yesterday, we told you last night you would cash in today and lo and behold look at all the rain that's arriving right now in Volusia County about an inch and a half per hour right there west of Daytona Beach all of this going this way and more than two inches per hour just to the south side of Port Orange Southern Bavard County you haven't had it as rough yet but look at this stuff rolling in from the Southland there's a big thunderstorm warning way down south there some of these pounding thunderstorms will roll into Osceola and Bavard counties and more to the point there's plenty more in the Gulf of Mexico to roll this way where this stuff has been coming from. Future radar bears that out. This is the way it goes between now and about 6 o'clock tonight with more and more shower activity rolling right through central Florida. So that severe thunderstorm warning in Marion County goes until 4. 30. I'll be right back with another radar tour and then we'll pinpoint overnight lows for tonight and look ahead all the way to your weekend. All right, thank you, Tom. Time lapse video taken this afternoon from our fun spot camera shows you the first round moving through. Wow. At one point, you really couldn't even see the Orlando eye, but then it became as clear as can be. Meteorologist Candace Campos is pinpointing the weather along I-4 tonight. She joins us near Lake Monroe in Seminole County. Candace, how's it looking out there? Well, Lisa, the wind is starting to pick up. Temperatures haven't cooled down much. Uh, my pinpoint weather app tells me right now it's about 86 degrees. But as you can see, the wind's starting to move in. The clouds are now starting to look very ominous. And the big concern, though, for me today was that Sanford and a lot of this area around the Seminole, Seminole, Seminole County area has been seeing a lot of sunshine, which will add fuel to the flame for these storms. So we're going to keep our eyes peeled to the sky for you guys at home throughout most of Seminole County today. Temperatures, again, right now are into the mid 80s, but it looks like you'll be under the gun between about five and about eight to nine o'clock tonight. So do be aware of that if you are heading home or have any plans out here in the Sanford area. So let's pinpoint your weather forecast for folks out here. Temperatures are going to be only cooling down into the mid to low 70s for tonight. But again, your best chance of rain will linger between about five and about nine o'clock this evening. By tomorrow, we will continue to see another round of stormy conditions. Temperatures, though, only warming up in to the mid 80s. So make sure to have that rain gear handy, not only for tonight. Again, if you have have any evening plans before tomorrow as well. Again, the clouds, I can start feeling it. The rain is just around the corner. Guys, Julie? All right, Candace, All right, thank, Candace you. thank you. We'll check back in with you in just a